morning everyone. Happy Saturday, May 26th. Today we are headed to San Angelo, right? Funtown RV, Funtown RV Park. We're gonna pick up our camper. There's Dhuni. And then we got the puppy in the back. He's sleeping. He did really well last night. All last night he slept. He only whined for like the first maybe two minutes. I also put Coco right next to his cage so that like it made him feel a little bit comfortable sleeping there. Uh, but yeah, he only whined that little bit and then he slept throughout the whole night. Um, he He did pee on his puppy pad once, but that's understandable because I gave him water before he went to bed. I just picked my nose. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, and then this morning we took him out. He went pee and poop and yeah, he's been really good. How do you like him, babe? I was going to film yesterday and try to get his like uh, Junior's first impression on seeing him, but he, he's not a very exciting person. <laughs> he was just like, hmm. And then later he was playing with them and interacted with them and now I feel like they're bonding. Also yesterday whenever we left to go to town for just a, a little bit, we had him in the cage and we we're like, oh yeah, he'll be fine. We came back. There was poop and pee everywhere in the cage, so we had to take him a bath. Junior even got in the shower with them and was washing him off and everything, so yeah. But he's been pretty chill. I think he really likes car rides. I feel kind of bad because every day so far that I've had him, we've been traveling. But we just didn't want to leave him at home today because it is three hours to get to the camper place and it's going to be three hours back. I'm going to see if they'll let us film and if not, then I'll just show you guys afterwards. paperwork and then the right now it's about 10 15 so we'll go and do the paperwork and then around 1 30 is whenever they'll do the walkthrough with us and then I'll film some of that we just finished all the paperwork and now we're gonna go eat somewhere and then we got to come back at 1 30 to go through the tour and took it up and head home I picked up some Taco Bell I got me a cantina power bowl So like a little salad with beans, chicken, guac, sour cream. It's supposed to be okay for you. And then Junior got some tacos and some wedges. They look so yummy, I want some. through with us but I didn't film because I was like I can show you guys this stuff later without all the boring technical stuff but he's still with us he's doing well so it's three hours back we're gonna set up our trailer and then I'll do like an empty camper tour for you guys and just show you guys everything that's in it and what it looks like and it's back there actually right now it's called a um, Heritage Glen, Forest River by Forest River, or Forest River by Heritage Glen. I'm not sure. Anyways, we'll show you guys later. So, we're getting our camper, right? And we find out that one of the tires has like a little hole in it, so they're supposed to patch it up for us. And look who ends up changing the tire himself. <laughs> oh, Junior. He's such a mechanic. It is 9.15 p.m. and we just now like got everything settled. We were talking to family, showing them the trailer, but now we're going to show you guys the trailer. So this is probably my favorite part of the trailer. This part is just so pretty and I love the stove and the microwave that is down here and not up top so I don't have to like reach on my tippy toes. Come here. Another thing I like for this this part so I can put all my spices and everything. There's a light switch over here. 
the vent is up here. And then this part, the last part of the stove, holds up like so. And then if you're not using the stove, you can just hold it down, use it for this area, save space. Save. Next, moving on to the fridge. What is this? It's not stainless steel, is it? It's polished aluminum. Okay. Plenty of space in there. We got our fridge. It's going to be really nice and cold. Moving on to the island. I really love this part. We got a nice sink here. This comes off. You can move it. You can turn this over for our cutting board. Everything here is stainless steel. And then you have on this side plenty of cooking space to cut up some things. You got an outlet over here. All of the lines in this camper. We'll do one over there. I can't get that. Anyway, there's really a lot of storage over here. This cabinet. I also like how they have the built-in area for your forks and your spoons and knives. Another favorite part that I really liked about the camper was this pantry. There's so much storage for groceries. And in a camper, you don't get a lot of storage. So I was really happy about this. Okay, I love how big the bed is. 
we're not sure yet if we're gonna we're gonna sleep on it, see if it's comfortable, and if it's not that comfortable, then we're gonna put ours in. And it's a little bit smaller, so we'll even have more space to walk around. Over here, you got your plug-ins again for your phone chargers or a lamp or something. Then you can put your phone up there on the counter. Uh, oh, I noticed that we don't have a window yeah. over there. That's fine. I don't like those anyway. But we got a window right there. Then this huge closet. I feel like it's so big. Look at this. We could put another bed in here. Isn't that awesome? But anyway, in the closet, there's hookups. There, oh, there we go. There's hookups for uh, if we want to put a washer or dryer unit, and we're just going to put just one, right? Yeah, the combo. Yeah, we're going to put a combo washer dryer unit in here so we have more space and so it don't take a whole lot of our closet space up. And then it also has these hooks here built in so we can put our hangers up. Next, we have our TV mount. There's no TV here yet, but we got a TV to put here. This also moves and comes out and turns. And we got our window here and our dresser drawers so that's nice it's also I thought this would be a good area to put a TV but I like how they have that there just in case we want to put anything else up here I don't know more counter space and then I get a full mirror a full wall oh, mirror I'm, so I thought that was I'm nice. in the picture hi babe say hi wave wave babe <laughs> okay also whenever you close the closet doors there's like a little mirror there. Probably won't use it. Okay guys, that's the end of my camper empty camper tour. If you guys like this video, just give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and put on your post notifications so you guys can come along with us on this journey. Thanks for watching.